everybody and welcome back to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I will be sharing my CVS haul for the week of November the 20th through November the 26th. First, I want to say happy early Thanksgiving to everyone out there watching. Hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving with friends and family and get nice and full and eat some pretty good food. But my uh, haul today went okay. I did have a little hiccups with digital coupons, nothing to stress about. But I saved between four transactions to $22.60, making everything out of pocket only $4.83, making all these items only $0.13 cents each. Not a ton going on at CVS, but definitely worth picking up some Revlon and Colgate because those are hot money makers this week. I want to say if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to this channel, make sure your notification bells are on so you'll be notified when I post a new video and please give the video a big thumbs up, share the video and comment down below. But if you guys want to see how my CVS haul turned out this week, then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, I just got back in from doing my CVS haul and for the most part, everything went as planned. I did have a couple of digital coupons that did not apply and it always is the PNG coupons and I don't get the laundry items in my inserts anymore. So I have to rely on pnggoodeveryday.com, but PNG Good did not have the game. So the game uh, digitals did not come off, but it's okay. Everything else worked out perfectly fine. I did not pick up a ton because there's not a ton to grab, but I picked up some really decent items, especially for the Colgate and Revlon helped me pay towards my spend 30 get 10 deals. And I did that twice on separate accounts. So before I get into my haul, first announcement, printable coupons, they're non-existent this week. I think I saw like maybe a couple of you guys can print. I think I saw Butterfinger that might come in handy with our digital that we got today. It will glitch with that. And I didn't see anything else. I forgot the other one that I uh, remember, but there's not a lot on there, but I know print the Butterfinger one because we did get a digital that will glitch when that deal comes around, hopefully making those free like the Snickers. So um, second announcement, um, instant CRTs, we got three of them. I did not use any of them today, but we did get three and I will put them on the screen for you guys to show you what those were. I did a total of four transactions because I wanted to make sure um, I reached a threshold for those CRTs and everything would come off perfectly fine with not interfering with my um, threshold CRTs, if that makes sense. So first transaction, I'm working with a 4 off 40 CRT that got printed on the end of my receipt. And today when I completed my transaction, I got a 10 off 70. So first thing I picked up with this 4 off 40, I did fruit teas. You can get the whole blends, fruit teas or whole blends. They are two for eight. Buy two, get a $4 ECB. So I picked up two whole blends. I did it twice on two separate cards for $8. If you guys want to use that three off two whole blends uh, hair coupon from our 1113 safe insert. That coupon expired on 1119 and it scanned with no issues. So even without any threshold CRTs, you will still pay $5 for those, getting back four, making them a dollar or 50 cents each. Then I combined in this, could not pass up on Colgate. Colgate Select Varieties are two for $7.98. Buy two, get a $7 ECB. That deal is a limit of two, guys. So I picked up two of the Colgate Max. I got all Colgate Max because that is our favorite. So I picked up two of those at $7.98. I used two of those dollar off Colgate coupons. There is a digital coupon I use, and I use one dollar off printable coupon. So even without any threshold CRTs, again, you'll pay $5.98. Get back seven for buying two of those and making those free in a dollar and two cents money maker. Then I did you buy Coltex. You can get the pads, the tampons, or the liners. They're buy one and get a $3 ECB at $7.49. I picked up the tampons because I have a ton of pads and not enough tampons. And the Shopkick offer for the pads is still available at $160, I believe. But I picked up the tampons. They are $7.49. I use that dollar fifteen off. You buy Coltex product printable coupon from the You buy Coltex website. So I paid $6.34, but I got back the three and making it $3.34. And I don't think that's bad because that's the uh the bigger pack. 
So that's not bad for the final cost of $334. And it's not bad, especially when you're throwing it in a threshold CRT deal. Then I did any Clairol hair color is by 2 get 4 so I picked up two of the Clairol Nice and Easy hair colors at $8.49, totaling me $16.98. I used two 6 off 2 Clairol hair product coupons. We had a digital coupon. It did glitch with the insert coupon from the 1113 Smart Source. We also have printable coupons on coupons.com. So you will pay $4.98, get back 4 for buying 2 plus there is a little $0.10 cents hair color rebate on Ibotta. So the final cost will be 88 cents for both or just 44 cents each. So my combined with this 4 out 40, it includes the whole blends, the Colgate Max Fresh, the U by Cotex tampons, and the Clairol hair color. My total was 40.45. I used all of the coupons I mentioned in my 4 out 40 CRT. It brought my final cost to pay out of pocket of $18.30, but I got back $18 extra care bucks. I got back four for the whole blends. I got back seven for the Colgate Max Fresh toothpaste. I got back three for the U-Bike Cotex tampons. And I got back four for the Clairol hair color. So I paid $18.30 and I got back $18. making this first transaction only $0.30 cents out of pocket. First transaction received, there's the whole blends, the Colgate, the U-Bike Cotex, and then the Clairol hair color. You can see the Clairol digital glitch with the insert coupon that dollar off Colgate because I only had one printable to use. In my 4 out 40, I have seven items and paid 30 cents plus tax out of pocket. I saved 45.53 with a 99% savings. And I did get back the four for the whole blend, seven for the Colgate, three for the uh, tampons, you buy Cotex, and then four for the Clairol hair color. And then I got a 10 off 70 and more CRTs on my receipt. Moving right along to my second transaction, I'm working with an 8 off 40 CRT. So included with this 8 off 40 CRT, I picked up, cannot pass it up, the Colgate uh, Max Fresh toothpaste. It's a variety of different Colgate toothpaste, two for $7.98. So I grabbed two more of the Max Fresh at $7.98. I use a dollar off digital printable, dollar off digital coupon and a printable coupon. So I paid again the $5.98, getting back the seven, making those free and a dollar and two cents moneymaker. Then I picked up my November free beauty item. I picked up another paparazzi lip balm at $3.29. Use that CRT, making that free. Now, um, that's not included with the 8 out 40 because that's free. So with my 8 out 40, it only includes the Colgate and my spend 30 get 10 deal. So my spend 30 get 10 deal, I picked up four of the Febreze Air Effect sprays, two at $4.79, then two half off at $2.39 because they're buy one, get one 50% off. I picked up a gang detergent at six, <clears throat> excuse me, six ninety nine. I picked up one tie pot at five forty nine, and I picked up one gang fling at five forty nine. So all of those items total me thirty two thirty three. I used the Bogo Febreze coupons. I used two of those that took off. She took off. I had to tell her to take off uh two forty, because if she take off the max value of three thirty, the digital coupon will not glitch. So the two insert coupons. She took off $240, and those are from November PNG, expired on 11-12. Then that $330 BOGO digital coupon came off and glitched and applied as well. I had a dollar off for the game that did not come off. I had a dollar off for the Tide Pods that did come off. And I had a dollar off for the game flings that did not come off. So my, like I said, my inserts do not get the gain or the Tide. I have to rely on printable coupons. And at least the Tide Pods came off, but I could not help the game not coming off. And I had like a kind of new cashier. She's not used to couponers. So usually my cashier would give me like the extra care bucks for the digitals not coming off. But she wasn't aware and I did not uh, press the issue because she's so nice. I even helped her out today with some deals. But um, they did not come off. So it is what it is. So with this $8.40 is the Colgate and my Spend 30 Get 10 deal with the 4 for Breeze sprays. One gain detergent, one tie pot, and one gain fling. My overall total price of any coupons was $40.31. I used all of my coupons mentioned and my 8 off 40 CRT. It brought my final cost to be $19.23, I believe. I have to look at the receipt because something was a few cents cheaper. But I paid um because of the gain digital's not coming off. I end up paying $21.16 out of pocket. But I got back $17 of extra care bucks. I got back seven for buying two of the Colgate Max French toothpaste. 
and I got my ten dollars for spending thirty on the uh, variety of products. So I paid twenty one sixteen, and I got back seventeen dollars in ECBs. And making this um, second transaction only four sixteen out of pocket. It was supposed to be a final cost of two sixteen out of pocket, but because the gang fling digital did not come off and the gang detergent digital did not come off, I ended up paying two dollars more. So it makes the second transaction only four sixteen out of pocket. Second transaction, there's the Colgate, the Gang Detergent, and the Flings, Tide Pods, all of my Febreze, and then my uh, Paparazzi Lip Balm. You can see she took off two forty for those Bogo coupons. The um, Dollar Off only came off for the Tide. You don't see any gain coming off. The Dollar Off gain did really not come off for the Flings or the Detergent. My Dollar Off digital for the Colgate came off. That three thirty digital for the uh, Febreze Glitch. My BOGO, not BOGO, my free November item came off. And I paid two sixteen out of pocket. It was supposed to be $0.16 cents out of pocket, but the game digital did not come off. I had 10 items and paid two sixteen, dollars saved $54.44 with a 96% savings. And I got back the 10 for spending 30 and I got back 7 for the Colgate Max, and then some CRTs printed on my receipt. Moving right along to my third transaction, I reckon with another eight off forty, but I did not use it with this transaction. So my third transaction, I combined Colgate and Revlon because I wanted to make sure I was meeting all my thresholds. So I divided up those uh, deals, and I did uh, come to find out I issued her more than uh, the amount of extra care bucks that were allowed. So some got kicked out because I forgot to adjust my prices. So when it's third transaction, I did Colgate Optic White again, the Max Fresh or any Colgate selected toothpaste was two for seven ninety eight. Buy two get seven. I picked up four of Colgate Max this time, and four totaled me fifteen ninety six. Then I did the Colgate three sixty uh, deal. It's been twelve get six. I picked up one Colgate three sixty two brush at five seventy nine, and then one Colgate two brush at six twenty nine. So both of those totaled me twelve oh eight. So once you combine the twelve oh eight of the spin twelve get six, and I maxed out that Colgate deal, that's twenty eight oh four out of pocket for just Colgate alone. So I end up issuing her four dollar coupons for the Colgate toothpaste. I had a dollar digital and three printables. I used two seventy five cents off for the printables for the Colgate toothbrushes from the Colgate website. And I had a 5 off 25 Colgate Oracare CRT. I did have a couple of 3 off 18 Colgate Oracare CRTs. If you guys have that one, you would still pay like a dollar for all of those products. But I got these as a money maker. But again, if you have the 3 off 18 Colgate, you'll end up paying a dollar for like 6 of those products, which is still not bad. But I had the 5 off 25 Colgate CRT. So use all those coupons. I end up paying for the Colgate $17.54 out of pocket. But I got back $14 in ECBs for maxing out the uh, Colgate toothpaste deal. And I got back six for spending 12 on the Colgate toothbrushes. So I paid $17.54. I got back a total of what I got back. Lord, I can't even add right now. <laughs> I got back a total of $20 in extra care bucks. So it makes this free and a $2.46 moneymaker. Not bad for Colgate. Then I did a Revlon. Revlon is spend 15, get a $5 ECB. So, um, let me see. I have to, I forgot to adjust my math on this as well. Reason why my ECBs got kicked out. So it's spend 12, spend 15, get five. So I did the deal twice. So I picked up three of the Revlon Color Stay Concealers. I thought they were 29, but they were in my store at 1279. So all three totaled me 3837. I used three of those three dollar off Revlon face printable coupons that are no longer available. I used two of the buy two get one free Revlon new complexion makeup CRTs that took off nine seventy nine. I got an old one from last week and a new one today. I used that three off Revlon Oloreal mystery CRT we all got last week, so I paid six seventy nine. I got back ten dollars because I spent fifteen two times because my total was thirty eight thirty seven. So I paid $6.79. I got back $10 and making those Revlon concealers freebie in a $3.21 moneymaker. So with this Revlon and the Colgate deal, like I told you guys, I gave her too many ECBs because I forgot to adjust my math. 
last minute. So it kicked those out. So what she ended up doing was issuing me what got kicked out. A $2 ECB got lowered down to like $1.33. Then I was losing $3 in extra care bucks. So we did not want to figure out because I, like I told you guys, she was new. We did not want to figure out what did not come off, but I knew I was missing $3. So she just issued me another $3 ECB and just kept all the extra care bucks that I did give her that were rejected. So that worked out. So between the Revlon and the Colgate combined on one receipt, my total was $24.33, but I got back $20 from my Colgate deal and I got back $10 from my uh, Revlon deal. So it makes the Colgate and the Revlon free and a $5.67 moneymaker, which is not bad at all. I got moneymaker Revlon again this week and then the moneymaker or care you cannot beat that at all. Third transaction with the Colgate and the uh, Revlon. There's all the Colgate Max Fresh, the Colgate 2 brushes, and my Revlon. You can see all of my coupons came off. The 2 by 2 get 1 free came off at $9.79. My 5 off 25 Colgate and my 3 off Rev Revlon L'Oreal CRT from last week. And you can see that my 2 off uh, ECB got lowered down to 133 I had 9 items. You can see 2 coupons were not used. So uh, she gave me back $3 in ECBs because I gave her $3 more because I forgot to adjust my math. I was trying to get in and out. So there's the $3 she gave me back and kept all the rest. And I saved $67.21 with 100% savings. I got back $14 for maxing out the Colgate deal. And I got back $6 for um, the Colgate spending $12 and $10 for the Revlon deal and more CRTs printed on my receipt. So now we're moving right along to my fourth and final transaction. I'm working with an 8 off 40 CRT. With this 8 off 40, I picked up two more of the whole blends, and you can get the fruit teas as well. They are by two, they're two for eight, by two get four. So I picked up two more of the whole blends at $8. I use that three off two whole blends CRT, not CRT, coupon from the 1113 save insert. That coupon expired on 11-19 and a scan with no issues. Now working with a um, I did my spend 30 get 10 deal with this as well. So with this spend 30 get 10 deal, I did a little bit differently. I picked up three of the X dry sprays and they are buy two, get the third one free. So I picked up two of those, total me $7.29, and combined they're $14.58. I picked up one tie pod at $5.49 and one more game fling at $5.49. Then I picked up two more of the Febreze Air Effects, and they are buy one, get one 50% off. So I picked up one at $4.79, then one half off at $2.39. So for my spend 30, get 10 deal, my total was $32.74. I used a three off two for the Axe products from the 1113 Save Insert. I had a dollar off digital for the gain that came off on this transaction, but the Tide Pod did not come off, like a whole high mess with PNG coupons. Then I used a BOGO Febreze from November PNG that took off, she took off $240. And remember, you guys have to tell your cashier to take off the half off price because if they issued a $330 value of that coupon, that digital coupon will not glitch. So she, she issued on this account as well $240 for the um, BOGO coupon. And then I had a $330 digital off two that did glitch with that as well. So with my 8 off 40, again, it includes the whole blends and my spend 30 get 10 deal with three acts one tie pod, one gain fling, and two of the Febreze air effects. So between the whole blends of my spend 30 get 10 deal, my total was $40.74. I used all of those coupons mentioned in my 8 off 40. I end up paying $20.04. It was supposed to be a dollar cheaper, but like I told you guys on this separate transaction, the tie pods digital did not come off. So I paid a dollar more for $20.04. But I got back $4 for buying two of the whole blends, and I got back uh, $10 for spending $30. So I got back $16, making this fourth transaction only $6.04 out of pocket because I paid $20.04. And I got back $14, making this fourth and final transaction only $6.04 out of pocket. Fourth transaction, whole blends, the gain fling, side pods, all of my X, Febreze. You can see she took off two forty for that BOGO coupon, and you don't you see the gain came off on this one, but the tie pasta did not come off. That three thirty digital for a Febreze glitch. I had an eight out forty, and used my ECBs and my care pass. I had nine items. I was supposed to only pay tax out of pocket, 
but the dollar off uh, for the tie pause did not come off. So I saved 55.42 with a 98% savings. I got back four for buying two of the whole blends and 10 for spending 30 and more CRTs printed on my receipt. So now we're gonna speak um, my overall totals for my four transactions. So we're gonna recap. My first transaction, it was 30 cents out of pocket. My second transaction, um, was 416 out of pocket. My third transaction that was the Colgate and the Revlon was free and a five dollar and sixty seven cents money maker. And my fourth transaction was six dollars and four cents out of pocket. So once you combine what I pay out of pocket, which was transaction number four was six oh four, number two was four sixteen, and my first one was thirty cents out of pocket. That's a total of ten dollars and fifty cents out of pocket. But my third transaction for the Revlon and the Colgate was free in a $5.67 moneymaker. It brings my overall total for my four transactions only $4.83 out of pocket. Because what I paid was $10.50 total, but my third transaction was a moneymaker. So my final cost for everything that you guys see is $4.83 out of pocket. I don't think it's a bad deal at all. I got some laundry items. I have some Febreze. I had some moneymaker Colgate and Revlon. So to get those moneymakers and help pay towards my spend deal, which is really, really awesome. So my overall, between my four transactions, I saved a total of $222.60. I had a total of 35 items that you guys see in front of you. And I paid a total of $4.83 out of pocket. You divide that by how many items I have, which is 35 items. It makes each item only 13 cents out of pocket, which is amazing. Like... I haven't grabbed um, gain in um, the Tide in a, quite a while. I did get the gain, like, I mean, the Tide laundry, but I haven't got any fleas. I'm running really low, if that makes sense. Like, that's shocking that I'm running low on fleas. So, <laughs> with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys because there's not a ton going on at CVS, but to get my haul for $4.83 out of pocket, making each item 13 cents, that's a win-win in itself. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. To see there's not a ton going on at CVS again this week, but definitely do not forget to pick up your Moneymaker Colgate and Revlon. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to this channel, guys. Thank you all so, so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you to all my old subscribers as well, coming back each and every week, watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos, and doing all of that good jazz, you guys know. I appreciate you all so much. I can't thank you all enough. And I'll see you guys in my next video.